Hey everyone, Kevin here. The Congressional Budget Office just came out with a report on projections for 2020 and 2021. And this is gonna give us a little bit of insight into the stuff Congress is going to be reading when they debate the next stimulus package, especially since we're going to see some things in here that talk about stimulus directly. As usual, I already went through and highlighted it all, so let's just get straight to the bottom lines. Make sure to subscribe, join the pre 600K club. Thank you for your support and let's get started. First things first, here is their prediction of how our economy will recover and you can see it looks pretty much like a V. In fact, you can kind of see that sort of V shape right here, but then you kind of get that slower recovery than I think everyone had hoped. I think we were kind of looking for a little bit more of that solid V shaped recovery, which we're not seeing here. So this is kind of an interesting projection. They also suggest that uh, interest rates on the 10 year and three month bills will follow this pattern, which you don't really have to know what that means. All this means is if you own real estate, you really want to pay attention to this darker line right here. Mortgage rates tend to follow this darker line. So in other words, you're really going to want to refinance sooner rather than later as it looks like we're kind of going in the up trajectory for the 10 year rates. No surprise over here, this was one of the things we were predicting that construction employment and construction activity fell at record paces and substantially 13% in April for construction employment. And of course, sales of cars and light trucks fell 49% in April, no surprise here. Here was one of the suggestions that the stimulus payments from recent or legislation have helped to boost the overall demand for goods and services by providing resources when many households households are experiencing a significant loss in income. This is really good because remember, Congress reads this. We want them to see that. We want them to see, yes, stimulus helps, more direct payments, please. Of course, in addition, federal assistance for state and local. Okay, we're familiar with that, you know, loans and grants to businesses. We know that's useful. However, they do go on to question the likelihood that businesses will survive and be able to preserve jobs. They're kind of here saying like, hey, businesses and people are going to need more support, which this is exactly exactly what we hear Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell saying, and now the Congressional Budget Office is coming out because this report was released today, uh, saying, hey, you know what, like, businesses are going to have a struggle to survive here, and keep in mind, any kind of boost from stimulus, especially without stimulus, is going to be even worse, but even any kind of boost with stimulus is going to be tempered because of social distancing. So they actually don't even fully expect the uh, stimulus checks that we got to fully be realized in the economy until later this year, which to me, hopefully this is just a glaring signal to them that we're gonna need more because look, if you wanna really stimulate things by the end of the year, you need to start propping things up now. Otherwise it's gonna keep getting worse. Now this right here is quite fascinating. They actually expect that we're going to have a slower growing economy at the end of 2021 than we did at the end of 2019. They also expect inflation to remain below the long run objective. We'll see that a little bit later in a chart, but that's actually kind of sad that they think even through 2021, we're gonna have a smaller economy. Obviously consumer spending in the second quarter is gonna be pretty ugly. They think it'll have fallen 39% at an annualized rate. This right here is where they say that basically the stimulus plans that have already been passed are expected to boost consumer spending during the second half of 2020. Mostly again because of social distancing creating a delay. When it comes to real estate, they think real estate's going to hurt in the second quarter. We're going to see less new construction sales specifically because of people uh, having lost their jobs, maybe less buyer demand, but they actually expect real estate at the fourth quarter of 20. 2021 to be 1% stronger, especially for new construction here, than at the end of 2019. So they do expect a solid rebound in real estate, which is great news for all of those of you who are buying those below market value wedge deals we talk about in my program link below all the time. That's the real estate investing course. Hope to see you there. This is a little scary here. They expect to see the steepest deterioration in the labor market since the 1930s. This part's a little scary. They think that many businesses may not survive the earlier extended revenue loss. 
That's kind of scary for our economy. Another clear sign to Congress, hello, need more stimulus. They also say that if you've recently graduated college or you've recently entered the labor market, you should basically expect substantially lower earnings initially than those who entered the economy when conditions were stronger. And they expect those effects to continue for years. This is the perfect time to get a side hustle and become like a licensed lender or real estate agent. For most businesses, they also expect to see wage declines, which is not so great with the exception of, they say, certain medical equipment, foods, and cleaning supplies industries. Those, as well as delivery services, might actually see a wages increase, but everybody else, they're expecting a decrease. This here is their expectation of inflation. Despite all of the borrowing that's been going on, they expect to see inflation decline, AKA disinflation here through 2021, and then by maybe the beginning of 2022, pick back up to about levels that we saw before the pandemic. Well, I don't know about you, but this seems like a pretty clear indication to Congress that, yo, seriously, Everything's telling you, stimulate the businesses so they don't fail and help the people out. If you want to see big growth in numbers in the third and fourth quarter, more stimulus, please. I don't know. That's the way I'm reading it. Let me know what you think, but I think this was super helpful, especially if you're interested in investing, real estate, you're in the job market, or uh, you're looking for more information on stimulus. So as always, subscribe, join me in the links down below, get your two free stocks with Webull, deposit $100, you get two free stocks, super easy. Get your quote for life insurance, also incredibly easy to do. You can knock that out on your phone, see if you get approved. It'll take you less than four minutes. I get emails regularly from folks going, hey, I got approved. This was my price. This was my price and so on and so forth. Obviously, life insurance can tend to be age-based, but hey, I'm not an insurance rep, so give it a shot and see what you get. Thanks for watching, and until next time.